When we made the pilot, we found a house that was really useful. It is strange shape inside. So it's sort of, it's half a floor that goes up to half a floor that goes up to half a floor. There's glass everywhere so that you can see up and down wherever you are. It is quite a challenging house for young children. Uh, yes, no, we bought it uh, when we weren't thinking about kids. Our initial concept for the house we were looking for was something where you could connect a family, right, you know, you could have the parents trying to be in the living room while the kids are screaming, you can hear everything. And what that means is that you've got this extraordinary space where everybody can see everything and you're all on top of each other. And that really helps the atmosphere, that sense that as a parent of young children, there's sort of nowhere to hide. When we came to shoot 10 episodes, we knew we couldn't be in that house for the months that it would take to do that. So we had to build a set. Partly because it's quite small to film in a real house. Often you need a little bit more space to work. You know, most sets that you see built are, are a, a story. You know, they're one story. And then if, you, if there's some stairs there in your set, they go up to nothing. We needed to, to get that flow through the house. We had to build the full three stories, which is a huge undertaking. So normally you'd split a house in half or you'd, you know, you'd cheat it. But we had to do it at, for real because all the floors, you could see all the floors from other floors. And to make that set, Miranda Jones, our insanely talented production designer, had to learn how to build a structure supported by steel. She had to learn the sort of physics and the, the construction techniques and laws of steel in order to support this thing. But then you have to think of the practicalities of it. So the steel structure that the house sat in was much bigger than the house, so that we could build the house within it and still walk around outside the walls, take the walls out for cameras and kit, bring equipment up and down. So the actual build is bigger than the build. The actual build of the set took about four or five weeks, not long at all. The job they did was amazing. I would come in every couple of days and go, wait, you did all this? We had a two week pre-build and another workshop, but then we had to get in really quickly and it took nearly a week to put the steels up. Everything was fully functional. Yes, there were sockets in the walls, lights, plumbing, the bath ran. And there were times when people were saying to Ben and I, do we really need a three story house? We both insisted that absolutely we needed this because then you get to see your characters kind of running down the house and it has made the, the most extraordinary difference to the show. <laughs>